So I'm working in this Eurocap report, I'll show you later, where I'm going to go to edit parameters and here the user will be able to pick a league that they want to follow. So I have here the league names. So Euro Championship, you have La Liga, you have everything and then you can pick a year, a time zone, and then you have an API to, to get the data. The problem here is that the API call accepts only league ID instead of league name, which is normal. So how do we do? How do we have a user pick a league name, but we convert it to a league ID in the background? That's what we're going to do today. Let me show you. So this is the query that picks one of the queries that picks the data. And you can see here that this is the league name and it says four. As I mentioned, it picks the ID instead of the name. So how do we do, how do we go to change that? So first of all, this API actually has a list with all the leagues and all the leagues IDs and the names, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and add as a new query and I'm going to call this league name. I'm going to put it down here. Then I'm going to go to query parameters and add a new one. This is going to be league name. This is something that the user will see, so don't put it together. I'm going to have this text and then query, and I'm going to pick the query that just created, the league name. Current value, Euro, so current value, Euro championship. Click OK. And as you can see, it gives us the value. I'm going to close and apply and show how this works. Right, so now when I go here, edit query parameters, you can see here that it gives us the name. So now the user can pick something and we need to connect it to the API call. So let me show you step by step. We're going to go to new sources, blank query, and then I will actually show you in one go. You first call in the table called leagues, the table that contains the names and the IDs. Then we're going to filter by a record. The league name is called name in that table. And because we have spaces in the parameter, we have to put it be between quotation marks. And let's do this by step. It says the key match more than one column in a table. So if we go in here, you see that your championship has for different years. So we need to add the year too. I have added obviously as a parameter, but here, I'm going to just hard code it. So the column is called year and we want to filter by 2024, right? And then it gives us the, that row, that specific row. What I want is the ID for that row. So we're going to do ID. And then you, once you get that, you go in here, you go to clubs, you go to uh, and then you change instead of hard coding it, you paste all that stuff that we just created. And if you did everything correctly, it will work. So cool, so cool. So now we don't need that. That was just to show you how it was done. Close and apply. I'm gonna get the clubs, teams, So this is for the Euro Championships. If I go here and I pick, I don't know, Champions League. Of course, there is no 2024. Let's pick something that is on 2024 and it loads, right? It's so cool, so cool. So now you don't need to expose IDs to your users. You can put names instead and this is how you do it. I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.